What's up, Gamer? Streamcast Guy here, and this is Does It Suck? The show where we take a deep dive look at a new game and see what's good or bad about it. Today, I've been playing a bunch of the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 beta, and I have to say, I'm very pleasantly impressed. The last couple Call of Duty games, in my opinion, have absolutely been garbage. A lot of them, specifically Vanguard, have had bad balancing, crappy guns, and in general, just were not fun to even look at. Whereas now, it seems as if this reinvention with Modern Warfare 2019 and now Modern Warfare 2, here we are in 2022, these feel like the best step in the correct direction. It feels like old school Call of Duty with new mechanics, new graphics, and a lot of interesting tweaks. But let's start things off by talking about what I think is the most interesting bit of this, which is the new overdone perk system. Now, this has never existed in any different Call of Duty that's ever been beforehand. Now, in this game, you create a loadout. As you begin to level up, each of the guns you equip can, of course, be leveled. If you're using a lot of an M4, whenever you're getting kills or capturing objectives, of course, this makes it where the gun itself can level up and be customized. But along with this, your perks in general typically get unlocked. Normally in these games you just equip perks which are passive bonuses that let you do things like carry two primary weapons or switch guns faster, stuff like that. Well, they've changed it so you don't have all your perks at the beginning of the match. Instead, there's three separate phases of perks that happen in each round of the game itself, where at the beginning, your basic perks are unlocked. So these are things like having an extra equipable grenade or something like that. Then progressively throughout the course of the match, you unlock the other two perks over time. So the ones that may make it where scavenging is more effective or you're practically invisible to enemy radar, these are very, very strong perks. I think we always knew that, but this sort of locks you out. If a match is typically 10 minutes long, a lot of these perks, if you're doing badly, will unlock about eight minutes into the round. Whereas if you're doing good, if you're actually getting kills, if you're scoring points, this accelerates the rate at which you unlock these additional perks. Now, I must fully admit that when I first started testing this out, it felt like a very bad idea, simply because it feels weird to have parts of my loadout that I can't instantly access. But once I started just actually going into matches and playing like team deathmatch and stuff, I kind of enjoyed it. I feel like it motivates you to go out there and not just camp. It really pushes you to run out there, throw grenades, risk yourself, because if you die, okay, you may lose a kill streak, but if you live, if you kill, then you get to unlock your additional perks, which of course are going to make you a lot more deadly for the rest of that match. But let's talk about gun balancing. I do think that the perks in general are actually pretty good. It's cool to see the return of a lot of the fan favorites. I do have to say though that I think I'm just really in love with the time to kill, the sprint speed, the sliding. Everything about this feels a lot like classic super old school Call of Duty. I played a lot of Call of Duty uh, back in what Call of Duty 4 and then Call of Duty 5, which was Modern Warfare 1 and Modern Warfare 2 all the way back, what was that, 2006, 2008? That to me was some of the most pinnacle years of first person shooters. It created the genre of online lobbies and crazy trash talk. Like so much of those early Call of Duty years were tremendously impactful on all of gaming. This sort of reminds me of that, where you do have to be incredibly offensive, it's good to try and communicate, it's good to try and be tactical, and I also do like that if you shoot somebody in the head, they do die. So many of these first-person shooters now, because I do play quite a bit of them, I get frustrated when I'm sniping and I land a really good throat shot or something and the guy just wiggles away behind cover. This is one of those games where when you hit somebody, they definitely feel it. But additionally, I have to say that this is something that I like like a lot is that this Call of Duty beta, as it currently exists, is still evolving. People have already been data mining the heck out of it because, of course, hackers are going to be hackers, and they've discovered all these additional content packets. So, as it currently exists, there's like five or ten maps we can play on. They're randomized. All of this so far has been nice, very symmetrical, very chaotic, nice dingy streets and abandoned malls and stuff like that. And it looks like we're going to get a chance to experience 
tons more maps over the course of the next couple weeks of this beta, but already this initial taste of it has been incredibly positive. I do want to quickly mention some glitches I have been experiencing. Obviously, this is day one of the beta. I mean, I just started playing it. I've played like five hours of it thus far. <laughs> so, of course, there's going to be a couple little weird errors. The biggest thing being that lobbies seem to mess up occasionally. You'll be trying to join a match, and for some reason, it'll just say, like, can't connect. Uh, I definitely have the best internet in Texas, so it's not a me problem, it's a you problem. I did also encounter this strange thing occasionally where, uh, as I was leveling up, I'd unlock the next big gun, like an AK-47 or something like that, but when I would go to my loadout to attempt to customize it and add those guns in, they would be unavailable. Like, a couple of times I actually had to completely close out of the game and go back into it simply to equip my arsenal. And the last glitch I encountered is one that I hope can be fixed because it drove me nuts. Notice how my gun is flashing. I hate strobe lights. I hate blinking lights. There seems to be some weird line of code inside the game itself where for some reason, when you're standing around or running in particular locations, I think it's trying to imitate sunlight, but you're indoors. I've experienced this on pretty much every map where your gun and nothing else will be in a beam of light and flash on and off. It's not game breaking, but boy, is it distracting as hell. These are minor errors that will certainly be fixed, but I have to say that my initial impressions of this are surprisingly positive. I mean, I did just straight up hate the last couple Call of Duties. I mean, I thought they just sucked monkey nuts. So to have a game that actually feels appropriately fast, I think it's very, very gorgeous. I think I kind of like the cool maps graphically. Everything runs at 60 frames a second on my PlayStation 5. It's been a very good first day of the beta. I'm going to keep leveling up. I'm going to keep unlocking guns and I'm going to keep camping people with that shotgun and then air striking you with kill strikes. As it stands, I am cautiously optimistic about the future of Call of Duty. This is, is this Treyarch or Sledgehammer? Like, I haven't even looked into the developer, but this feels like one of the good CODs. You know what? Sometimes there's bad Call of Duties and you gotta wait for the next year. This one actually feels pretty decent. If you're waiting for a first person shooter that's going to satiate you, if you can get into this beta, I think you're going to be as impressed as I am. The mixture of good kill time, good gun balance, good run speed, good perks, makes this feel like it may actually be a very good game. But these have just been some off-the-cuff thoughts because honestly, I kind of wanted to just ramble about it. I'm having fun. I'm not an esports champion or somebody that's trying to metagame the perfect little decimal points of strongest weapons. I'm just a gamer that loves good games. And in my opinion, this is pretty decent. But tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. Have you had a chance to play the Call of Duty beta? Cool. Well, tell me about it. And also like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, time to go back to playing a bunch more Call of Duty. <laughs> it's legit that fun. I'm literally sitting here like, oh, I'm going to start it up right now. I love that beep. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.